no scratches this time. Hi everyone, quick video for you today. I'm actually in the midst of doing a brake flush. I've got a track day scheduled for next weekend. And I also decided, finally decided, to do a stud conversion in my car. Now, I've been holding off for three years. I've had the car for almost three years now. This should have been the first mod I, I should have done. But what was holding me back was I like to swap my wheels. Uh, but some of the wheels are fairly pricey and sometimes I do park my car in areas that are prone to getting my wheels stolen. And I didn't know that locking nuts existed for a stud conversion. Well, I reached out to Brian from Keys Motorsports and he sent me the hardware with a uh, locking tool set, which will not only finally allow me to swap my wheels without worrying about scratching the barrels, but will also allow me to use the locking nuts so I can park my car at the train station, leave it overnight, and not worry about coming back and having my wheel stolen. In case you don't know, what is a stock conversion? Essentially, the wheel is held by these stock lugs. So you put the wheel onto the hub and you tighten it using these lugs. But as you can tell, sometimes it's hard to align the holes and uh, you have to hang the wheel on this little lip here, which doesn't always work out and you end up really scratching the wheels. Uh, stock conversion, what it does is, it takes this guy here and there's already a thread inside. So what you do is obviously you, you have to put a, a bit of a, a thread locker here. You tighten it, torque it to spec, and you will have s studs, which will make it a lot easier for you to mount and dismount the wheels. And seriously, if you don't have the stock conversion, this is what you have to do. Every time you switch the tires, not only do you have to make sure that you don't scratch the barrel on not only the heat shield, but also the rotor, but you've got to align the holes. It's even worse if you have spacers. Not only do you have to align the holes with the spacers, but also the spacers with the hub. It's really, really annoying. Installation is super easy. What you do is you take it, identify the shorter thread, uh, put a bit of a medium strength thread locker on it, if you watch certain videos, you'll know that boop, boop sound effects can be used. Whoops. And uh, simply put it in until you can't thread it anymore. Do the same thing to the rest four of them. everything inserted what you do is you grab a screwdriver and stick it in here and you do this to prevent the rotor from spinning because now we have to torque it to 25 foot-pounds of torque using an allen wrench uh, a five millimeter allen take the screwdriver out and you're done so this is the final product and check this out before we put the wheel on look how easy it is to put the spacer on look you just align it, bam. This is how simple it is. And this is how easy it is to put the wheel on. Bam, see, so you can leave the wheel, hang it on these studs, and then just start from the bottom, tighten it by hand. We're gonna tighten these just a little bit drop the car down and torque it to spec. And we are done. Now, I ended up not using the locking nuts only because these are my track wheels and uh, when I'm at the track, it doesn't really make sense. But once I'm back and I'm gonna put my summer wheels on, I'm definitely gonna use these and they're gonna give me a peace of mind. But installing and removing wheels, was super, super, super easy with these. And uh, this is what they look like, check this out. Mm -hmm. 
every product I used, I'm gonna link down in the description in case you're interested in purchasing it. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I finally decided to do a stuck